I feel like I have something wrong with me. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let's drink some wine. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Brian Hinchberger. And I'm Paul Hinchberger. We are the Wine Brothers, and uh, we have a lovely pond behind us. There's bullfro bullfrogs. bullfrogs in the back. There's dragonflies everywhere. There's butterflies twerping around. I don't know if they twerp I much, they but, really but twerp, uh, no. they are today. Mm. And it's so fitting, because today we're tasting a wine um, from Vino Bovoreta, or Vovoreta, from Toro. The Toro Dio in Spain. So we're sitting in central Castilla y Leon to the west of the famous Ribera de Duero. Um, and, you know, right next to Rueda, where some of the best white wine of Spain comes from, Verdejo. Um, but in Toro, they make Tempranillo, Tinta de Toro. So the clone of Tempranillo is called Tinto de Toro. And it has always been known as this unbelievably massive, muscular, uh, muscular? Masculine, masculine. Uh, chewy, chewy, big red, beefy red wine. Um, so they're they're fun to drink, but they're they're really intense. They're big. They're tannic. They're 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 their own beast. However, we have found a unbelievable Toro house that I cannot tell you how stoked I am to be representing this wine in America. Um, Vino Vavoretta is made by an absolutely charming, lovely young lady named uh, Maria Alfonso. Her and her father are Vovoreta. They live in the tiniest town that you can ever imagine, up in the hottest hills that you never want to be in, of Spain, making this beautiful wine. And once you meet these two people and, meet what, and see what they're doing and taste the wine that they're making, you fall in love with this charming old school style and this, this t old, old rustic town. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. They have about, um, I wanna say like 100 acres of land, all 100% organic. Uh, verging on biodynamic, mm. but what's cool is it's like a na it's a nat natural preserve. There's probably um, a quarter of it is is planted with vines, so very very you know spe sporadically placed. There's about five different vineyards that they grow Tinta de Toro, old vine pre phylloxera, uh, beautiful beautiful estate. Um, it's pretty epic. So when I say it's so fitting to have butterflies and dragonflies floating around, when we're up in the hills with Maria, she shows us around, you know, literally, butterflies are landing on her on her shoulder. It was ridiculous. It was And Volvoreta. And Volvoreta means, means butterfly, butterfly in Gallego. So not in Spanish, but the Gallego dialect of northwestern Spain, uh, Volvoreta is butterfly. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a super natural, natural zone. There's gorgeous old rustic Tempranillo vines, and they make it in this tiny little old town in their little uh, bodega. They still have the old family bodega where there's a 30-foot log beam that you know you do the old crank and it crushes the grapes into this big old basket trough and you can foot stomp unbelievable they still make wine in it not for not for their their production of Volvoretta but uh, what's neat is this wine is their only wine the Probus uh, this is the 2009 Volvoretta Probus 100% Tinta de Toro Tempranillo um, and it is something I'm very very excited about Paul let's 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 pour this what yeah, are you gonna absolutely. say I was just going to say that, you know, Toro, you were saying, is, is usually a very large, masculine wine. Oaked for many, many, many months. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is five, five months on oak. And you can just tell by the name and the label, it's, it's like a feminine version of that. Or just a, a more elegant style. And when you meet Maria, still... you understand that completely. Mm -hmm. um, she, she does beautiful, beautiful work in, in her vines. And her passion and her devotion to to what she does, to their estate, to where they're at, is incredible. So I'm gonna do a little impression real quick that just totally had me hooked. <laughs> we're, we're sitting up in the vines of, uh, of Toro, and 
And she's talking about the biodiversity, which they've been recognized by everyone throughout Spain for the unbelievable um, cultivation of biodiversity that they uh, envelop in within their estate. So she was talking and she says, you know, so so uh, at the end of the fall, when we when we bring in our our fruit, we always leave a little bit of fruit still on the vine, mm. so that in the spring, uh, the birds the birds can eat the, the the grapes. They need food in the spring, and and she says it's th it's that cute, you know. And, and <laughs> we're like, really? And she's like, well, you know, all fall they give us their song, and we listen to their beautiful song. So we need to give back, and we we feed them grape in the spring. <laughs> I was done. I was like, oh, that was oh, it's so cool. Just their entire <laughs> philosophy, their entire culture is is putting their entire heart and soul into this bottle of wine. Paul, talk to me because I know you're digging what you're digging. Oh, it's so good. It's so like. <sighs> I mean, the nose itself is just it's bing, beautiful. Bing cherries. Um, it's got that characteristic Toro dark fruit, mm -hmm. but it's not Black so cherries. brooding. You don't smell this and go, "Oh, okay," you know, no. saddle up, partner. It's no, it's no. It has it's a really, feminine nose. Absolutely, yes. A lot of earth. Some some really neat floral notes to this to this wine as mm -hmm. well on the nose. Yeah. How's the and palate? On the palate, it's unctuous. It's it's really well rounded, but the acid balances it out um tons of fruit but it also has that mm. rusticity uh rusticity i believe rusticity it's a good is word. a word in fact it um, is today <laughs> this has beautiful rusticity uh, of spain that i love it just kind of takes you back to the old days you know and and when you when you see mm. where this is made it, it is truly that it's it's absolutely stunning mm. um this wine is is so well built um it's not over the top like i said it's five months of mm. french oak um, and it, it, there's grip, there's, there's texture, mm -hmm. there's structure, there's acidity, there's fruit, there's everything you want without being over the top, chewy, tannic, bodaciously muscular, like many Toros that you'll find are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's an exquisite wine. Beautiful. There's a big old bullfrog right there. I think he agrees with that. I think he's totally <laughs> digging on this wine as well. Um, so when you find this wine, because this is fresh off the boat, brand new into America for the very first time, uh, find this bottle. Yeah. And if it's you're, hot. if you're, if you're, uh, concerned at all with health, eh? you know how they say, drink a glass of red wine and it's all good right. for your heart. This wine, Maria's wines are being recognized from every major university throughout Spain as having the highest antioxidants of any grapes they've ever found throughout Spain in her vineyards. These pre vines that are completely naturally, organically treated or non-treated, um, it's, it's pretty, pretty incredible. So they say, if you drink this wine, they're actually prescribing this to people, go find Vino Vovretta, uh, Toro, and become healthy again. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm down for that. So uh, if you can find this, drink it. If you can't find it, call me because Healthy I'll get you some. and delicious. Absolutely. Cheers, everyone. Salute. 